want to see me rage. How's it going, everybody? The Dealer here. So yes, once again, we have yet another update on Shadow Raven Studios. And at this point, I genuinely can't even be sure if it's going to be the last time that we ever actually hear from him again. For all intents and purposes, consider this the end of Season 2. I know, surprisingly short-lived, especially compared to the previous season, if you will. But of course, much like the previous season, it of course went out with a little bit of a bang, a failed attempt, and of course, a bit of a word from uh, uh, somewhat of a friend of this channel, if you will. So of course, of course, if you haven't been following along with the recent developments of the SRS saga, there of course have been a bunch of different things happening. Everything from All Out Monty nuking both iterations of the How to Exist Pranks and Tutorials channel, probably nuking the second one thinking that that would somehow manage to retroactively remove what is shown off within a live stream VOD as well as a live stream clip somehow. I don't even know what his thought process must have been, but whatever. On top of that, too, of course, you know, false copyright strikes, several new archive channels now existing because of the first one getting struck down. And on top of that, too, Shadow Raven Studios deciding to uh, rear his ugly head again and basically act like a fucking moron in every single regard. But of course, nothing could possibly top the most recent stupidity that he tried to pull, which was of course all started because he ended up making, well, one particular uh, community post, like, uh, I don't know how long ago at this point, probably a couple days ago, I'd say, where he states, Enjoy your consequences for being dicks. Coming soon, a real smash hit piece. It's not a video either. Ashfall Dude or The Dude is going to be devastated. All of you who are involved, in Sandy Circle have had your chances to wise up and grow a brain which you didn't do. I saved this for last. Now, of course, you would think that this would be like something absolutely devastating, something absolutely major. Well, well, to put it very simply, it was a failed blackmail attempt against Ashfall Dude. What exactly was the blackmail, you may ask? Well, according to a DM conversation between Shadow Raven and Ashfall Dude, apparently the entire threat was, and I quote this, was basically uh, he was going to have somebody upload them. The them in question, I should mention is basically just Ashfall Dude's mods. So, there's some clarification there. Onto various websites without giving any credit for them, and the main way that this would stop is if Ashfall Dude was to go to me, my friend Domino, my friend Rince, and possibly even to Xander Hall, and ask us to remove any videos regarding Shadow Raven Studios, which of course for me would have been an absolutely metric fuck ton of videos at this point because of how much documentation I've had to do on him, but like, it's just so unbelievably sad that this is like the level that he's willing to go towards, which I guess is really no surprise considering, once again, his DLC fun website is quite literally purely dedicated to stealing mods and re-uploading them without giving credit, while also making money off of said stolen mods, which is just absolutely uh, fantastic. Once again, I've made an entire video going through DLC fun. You can check it out if you want. But of course, this entire plan ultimately did not work because, well, once you believe it, and of course, you know, I'll have like an entire conversation that I've had with Ashfall Dude in regards to this entire failed blackmail attempt. But for all intents and purposes, he doesn't really give a shit. <laughs> like, he doesn't really care. Like, what? The worst that's going to happen is that it's just going to be uploaded onto shady websites that don't have that much reach without, like, any credit being given to him. Like, what exactly is the harm that's actually being done there? Now, of course, another funny thing that ultimately happened is, of course, the deletion of Shadow Raven's entire new YouTube account that he had. And this ended up happening, I don't know if this was the cause of it, but I ended up making a community post where it, it had absolutely nothing to do with Shadow Raven, mind you. It had to do with the, my, uh, my second most recent video, at least as of, like, you know, probably making this video and uploading it. Uh, it was, you know, in regards to the Cine Bear controversy, uh, I'm not gonna elaborate too much on that one because that's not the video for that. But, of course, uh, Mr. Raven here decided to whip out this delightful little comment here uh, underneath my community post about that, where he states, I would be very careful. I'm not the only creator you're royally pissing off. All of this F-slur shit you're pulling on the internet is going to end up blowing up in your face. Lurks and forms and the Northern Sage, the Archive guys, is asking for the same thing to happen to them as well. And of course, 
I don't even really hit him with all too much. I just simply hit him with this. And of course, it's mainly callback to the fact that even now he, well, at least while he still had this channel, mind you, he would basically, you know, hide myself and any of my friends from being able to actually comment on anything on his channel which is just absolutely hilarious, but I hit him with this. Notice how I don't hide your comments? It's called freedom of speech, and that freedom allows you to act like a self-righteous moron in my comments so that you can be a public circus act. You do not scare me in the slightest. And I was saying that with full confidence, to put it very simply. I do not care about this man. None of his threats genuinely scare me. Any threats of his, I have my own workarounds because I've been around and have witnessed shit like this happening on YouTube more times than you can even fucking count. So I know at least how to circumvent false strikes and false claims. I know how to deal with this shit because I've seen it happen. And of course, it at least works with 90% efficacy. However, since it still hasn't happened yet, and since the archive channel still exists, I'm willing to bet that they've already given up on this realizing that it's basically just going to be a hydra attempt because the moment that they strike down one two more are just going to appear in its place shortly after he it, but shortly after i made this comment towards him well wouldn't you believe it but the channel no longer exists like at all his his most recent Shadow Raven studios account no longer exists and the only uh you know the only like possible evidence of its existence is somebody else having yoinked the old at for it. Gloriously hilarious. So once again, Shadow Raven has completely fucked off, alongside with his friend All Out Monty, uh, you know, taking, uh, basically leaving as well. Probably being even smarter than Shadow Raven, mind you, because he ended up leaving much sooner than anybody else. But yeah, for all intents and purposes, this is at least like the final episode in the Shadow Raven saga. At least until Shadow Raven decides to upload supposedly his response to my DLC fun video. Which I can only anticipate that that is going to be its own clown show, but whatever. Just consider this at least the ending for at least season 2 for now. And a bonus video possibly coming out at some point in the near future, who knows. But what I think is probably the funniest part is of course, well... Uh, is, of course, just Ashfall Dude's entire response to a lot of this stuff, and, of course, his overall feelings on the entire situation as a whole, which I will, of course, have it play out for you right now. It's going to be pretty lengthy, but be sure to at least sit around for as much of it as you possibly can. I'm not going to force you to stay here, but if you're willing to hear him out, then by all means, go right ahead. But anyways, I'm going to take you over to, well, myself and Ashfall Dude. So, um... Obviously, the entire uh, conversation with uh, our, our uh, dear friend, if you will, uh, Shadow Raven. No, uh, don't, uh, don't give him that pleasure. No, you're being too nice. <laughs> but, like, his most recent attempted plan was to, like, threaten you by threatening to, like, release the Ashfall mod or something like that onto just various websites. My guess is no. that one of them is probably going to be his DLC fun website, because that's already kind of what it's known for, but... Not the Ashfall mod itself, but various mods I've released onto Nexus over my time as a modder. This includes some weapons that were going to be included in Ashfall. Um, stuff like the Plasma Saw... Uh, Wakazashi, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, there's also other mods like a very bad player home mod that I'm not really proud of, mm. and also um, a modder's resource for uh, Ass Jerky. If you've seen the Fallout TV show, you know what that's about. Alright. Um, and also a memorial mod I made to a um, voice actor who recently passed away, uh, the storyteller, as most as people know him, uh, right. Jason Dameron. I, again, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and, uh, to make a long story short, he, uh, he, he essentially attempted to quote-unquote blackmail me, as I've seen other people try to describe it, with my own mods, saying he'll upload them to other websites without crediting me, which, like, oh no, he's uploading them to websites with far less reach and full of people who I wouldn't otherwise us want, you know, to be associated with, so it's like, oh well, I mean, I, I mean, there's not much I can really do about it, you know? It's still frustrating, though, to have this guy still be on my case. Yeah. And also have, like... Because I guarantee you, I guarantee you, uh, I was a lot more frustrated and angry about this yesterday when I was talking to uh, Domino about this whole thing, but, like, I know for a fact that there are going to be people from, like, the Asheville devs who are going to turn around and find some way to justify this. Because, like, this is a bit of a pattern I've noticed. 
Because of how weirdly tribalistic the New Vegas modding community is specifically, they're willing to sort of give a pass to, like, what people who they would otherwise describe as objectively terrible. Because, oh, well, when you get to know them, they're actually really nice, you, you know, that kind of thing. Every project has an example of someone like this that they can think of, I guarantee it. But that, is, anyway. that is just silly as hell. The whole situation's very disappointing, because, one... For me, it's been over a year since this whole... Like, I know this whole saga started... Uh, for you, it started, like, a few months back. For me, this is... Depending on where you... Con what you consider the true start of this stupid controversy, it's been over a year since all of this started. Jesus. And to think that it went from... Internal development drama about a trailer... That... That I still stand by the fact that I don't think that trailer should have been made. I think we wasted too much time on a trailer... That wasn't really a trailer. It was more like a showcase, honestly. And uh, the fact I mean, that I even had, I would like, think that that's even too generous because it was showcasing nothing but the fucking Black Abyss. Yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, I, but yeah, the, like the fact that I was I had someone yell slurs at me over that whole situation, and then later when I finally got rid of one of the devs responsible for that trailer, the very next day Shadow Raven comes out with his video calling the mod woke, and it's just. The fact that only until you and Xanderhal started making your videos on this guy that people started to realize that, oh wait, this guy's kind of, you know, screwed up in the head a little bit. I'm just sort of glad that things are at least beginning to make sense, you know? Yeah. I'm starting to see less people, like, telling me to go kill myself whenever I show up my face on a different Fallout server, and more people going like, hey man, sorry about the whole deal with Shadow Raven, you know? Yeah. So I uh, guess, like, more or less with this whole attempted, like, blackmail thing, you just, in reality, you just don't care. <laughs> that's a way to put it. Yeah. I mean, I, I care to a certain extent because, like, nobody likes having their stuff stolen and re-uploaded onto other websites. Yeah, obviously. And, like, and also there's a conspiratorial part of me that is connecting this to a recent um, situation going on with a different mod project. I'm not going to go too deep into it here because it's... It's hard to explain it when I can't name drop these particular projects, especially since one of the mods is so young that it doesn't even have an actual name, like, period. Fair uh, enough, fair enough. But yeah, there, there was a whole thing where, like, a different mod project thought that we were stealing their ideas, but they wanted one of their writers to, like, look over our documents to, like, verify to make sure that we weren't making anything too similar to their mod project. I'm pretty sure that same person who wanted to look over our uh, documents is also working with Shadow Raven Studios because I'm pretty sure the alias uh, Mysterious Stranger is one of their alt accounts. Like I'm almost certain about it yeah. because I'm pretty sure. Like I even pointed out to you in a stream that like, hey, this um this one particular guy is somebody I recognize and he's in Shadow Raven's DMs. Hmm, that's weird. And, th and that same guy is a writer for this other mod project that's accusing us of stealing from them. Uh, depending on who you ask, with or without dark magic involved, so... <laughs> I still can't get over that, man. It's actual schizophrenia. And you want to know the <laughs> weird thing? Like, I've only ever noticed this within the New Vegas space, but, like, every so often you do encounter somebody who's, like, mixing weird internet drama with, like, the supernatural. I've mentioned this a couple of times, but, like, I've had people tell me that Urias, or Urias, or however you say his name, is, like, a dead guy, and he's, like basically a poltergeist that's haunting Nexus mods. Oh my and they god. Don't really <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's like, it, Urias is unironically the hero Brian of New Vegas. And it's like, I don't know how... I mean, I was saying, him. like, this Urias guy was like some sort of, like, boogeyman or something like and that. It's like a joke. Why do I keep on predicting this shit? I, I don't know what his deal is, because apparently I'm friends with a guy. I don't know... It's a whole weird thing, so like... I mean, supposedly I'm like his biggest supporter or something like that, according to oh, some yeah, sources, which is I ridiculous. Had, I had somebody claim that I was like a Uriah supporter because a different guy, Zapshock, the lead behind Nuevo Mexico, which I hope that mod's doing okay, man. I was really excited for that project in so many ways. It, it Nuevo Mexico has been, and I'll fully admit this, it was one of the um, reasons... Like, they were... That particular mod project helped keep us in the Asheville team motivated to work on our mod, 
right? Like, yeah. we had all kinds of support from Nuevo Mexico. They were some of the nicest people in the community. And so I really hope that project's going well, because if you're, if you're looking into them, they're not looking so hot right now, I'll be honest with you. I mean, uh, here's but, hoping for the best for them. That's all I can yeah. say about it. Yeah. So, going back on topic. But, like, you have these people who think that Zapshock, again, one of the nicest people in the community, has been nothing but polite to me, has been nothing but kind and supportive. One of the few people who reached out to me to make sure I wasn't doing... Uh, not wasn't doing... The, one of the few people that reached out to make sure I was doing okay when Shadow Raven's video dropped and all that, you know? Uh, genuinely one of the nicest people in the New Vegas modding community. But then you also have, like, weirdos claiming that he's Urias, who may or may not exist, who may or may not have made a really edge Like, I've heard all sorts of shit about the mod Urias may or may not have made. Uh, which is how everybody likes to say it, because no one can give me a clear answer on this sort of thing. Uh, but, like, as far as I've been told, the most definitive thing that can be said about it um, is that it's basically a really edgy mod made back in, like, 2014 by, like, a, a middle schooler who, again, really... It's like crack life. I don't know if you play. I've or I've seen of videos it. of it. I've seen like Jolly's yeah. videos on it. it. It's goofy as hell. Yeah, very goofy. But like with this particular mod, it's also edgy. Lots of racism. Lots of very heavy topics kind of thrown. So basically, around like their main thing is literally just like, oh, this Urius guy. He made like a mod in 2014 when he was a middle school. Like at, at, at that point, who the hell cares? Imagine. Like, just a, just a scenario, right, where 2014 Ash uh, made, like, the, the guy who would li consistently listen to, like, the Pink guy and Pink Season albums back-to-back, -back, uh, someone from, like, back then doing that kind of stuff. Imagine the kind of edgy stuff I would have come out with if I knew how to make mods for New Vegas. I'm pretty sure, you know, they would be kind of tasteless and not really something I would really approve of today. So, it, Exactly. It, it, it's like a, it's like... It's just so goofy, in my personal opinion. Like, these guys are trying their damnedest, and it just doesn't really work. And especially, like, literally this morning, like, just this morning, fucking Shadow Raven nuked his entire channel after I basically called him out for not, you know, applying free speech equally. Like, I was, uh, like, I'll probably read it out in the video or something yeah. like that, so people kind of know what I'm talking about, but yeah, it, it's so fucking goofy. Like, whenever they ultimately fail or make themselves look s extremely silly, they just fuck off! I I know, but then they always come back. It's like the world's worst boomerang. Uh, it's like William he, Afton, but with less charisma. <laughs> who's William Afton? The, the guy in, like, Five Nights at Freddy's that keeps on, like, coming oh, back from okay. the dead. I hope you can understand, like, after interacting with Shadow Raven for however long it's been, you understand why I kind of wanted to distance myself from the Ashwell team, because, like, I just want to work on mods. I don't want to sit around and complain about pronouns all day to a bunch of people who are constantly getting mad at that one lady, uh, Kathleen Kennedy, you know? Mm -hmm. I know I'm saying a lot of similar stuff to yesterday, but, like, legitimately, uh, it's like... My brain cannot actually process how somebody who is an adult, who presumably has to pay their own bills, can care about this sort of stuff to this extent. I mean, you know? what makes it even worse is that allegedly, and this is a very huge allegedly because I still don't believe this even myself, but like, Shadow Raven claims that he's also married while also doing this shit. He's supposedly a married man in his 30s living in Canada that's obsessed Jeez. over American politics and pronouns. Like... This is the kind of terminally online goober that we're dealing with. Yeah, it's depressing because in a weird way, it, he reminds me of like what I was like back in like middle school when I was obsessed with like anti-SJW stuff, like no bullshit. Uh, I think, what was the, who were the other guys? Like the quartering and there was one more guy I keep forgetting, but like this like whole um, echo chamber that this guy's clearly in where he's just constantly making himself angry by presumably watching these like anti-SJW or anti-woke content creators. It's kind of making him act, to put it nicely, irrationally. Like, yeah. no adult should be acting like this under any circumstance, you know? It's just, it's man-childish. Yeah. 
It really is just disappointing, but at the exact same time it is... I mean, at least for me, it's just kind of funny to watch these guys flail around wildly as, like, everything burns around them, but, like... It is very... I can... Even for me, some of this stuff is also just annoying constantly having to deal with them. Just like... Even as it's just like a lighter basis. Like, when the guy suddenly came back, I was like... God damn it, I thought it was over! <laughs> Why are you back?! Imagine what it's like to, like, deal with that, like, on a daily basis. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna, like, try to make this, like, a competition, but, like... I'm not trying to I'm make it a competition in... either, but I can only imagine I what it's know. like dealing with goobers like this on a fucking daily basis. Yeah, dude, it is emotionally exhausting because, like... I mean, having to deal with them on, like, even just, like, a bi-weekly basis is already tiring enough. I could only imagine daily. <laughs> dude, it, it is, it is, like, soul-sucking because, like, like, imagine, like, trying to, like, work on a mod, right, for... I, I don't know what other games you play besides, like, Ultra Killer Terraria, right? But, like, imagine trying to make a mod for those, but, like, any time you try to talk to other people, like, Oh, hey, what should we do about this area? What should we do about that? All anybody wants to talk about is pronouns. And it's like, the weird thing is, it's like, the way they talk about it, it's so nebulous, you know? It's not just, because to me, it's like, it's just words, you know? Sticks and stones and all that. Don't, like, worry about it, you know? So what if somebody has, like, words in their bio? Just, like, there's bigger things in the world than, like, culture war shit, you know? Uh... Yeah. It's like worst things like, to worry about. Like there's like people getting harassed over like garbage shit like pronouns and fucking rainbows and whatnot. Like the, an entire game engine is currently under fire because they like decided to make a joking tweet because somebody said that like having a, a fucking pre-built engine apparently means that you're woke or whatever, which is really stupid. And apparently now th that game engine is currently being harassed by a bunch of anti-woke losers because they can't stand the sight of colors. Like it's just not, ridiculous. I forget the exact phrase i'm trying to think of but like there's this idea that people like to use this sort of nebulously defined politics to sort of try and sort of push out anything that is considered unagreed upon that's not a word i know but like that's the best i can come up with um something that i think you and xander hall uh helped with to to what extent it's too early to tell uh i think because of Shadow Raven and his weird outburst against Ashfall, and then later on your videos covering uh, Shadow Raven, you kind of preemptively stuffed out the fire of uh, fires of like another Star Wars situation. Oh, no. If you don't know what I'm talking about, when the Disney Star Wars movies came out, it was very easy for the entire fandom to be hijacked by this like narrative of like, oh, Disney's ran by feminists and they're ruining the thing we like, you know. Uh, and I think, in a way, and again, how true this is, it's too early to tell in my opinion. I would like to have more hindsight on this before I make any statements, but, uh, you know, I'd like to think that, uh, you helped stop that same kind of culture from, like, bleeding into the modding community a little bit. Because I mean, prior to I can, videos I can only, out, I can only hope I even have that kind of influence. <laughs> well, like, here's the thing, right? A lot of the, a lot of, um, New Vegas modders, they tend to see subscriber count as, like, a sign of merit, you know? Like, a sign of legitimacy, from yeah. what I've noticed. So, like, the fact that anybody with, like, what, nearly 2,000 subscribers, congratulations on that, by the way. I'm not even uh, at 2,000 yet, I'm still at, like, 1.9. You might be by the time this video is out, who knows? I mean, if that uh, is what happens, then that would scare the hell out of me, but... <laughs> yeah, um, let's see. Alright. Where was I going with this? Uh, oh, right. Um... Yeah, it it did genuinely feel like for a while that prior to your videos coming out, uh, you and Xander Hall, uh, it felt like a lot of people were just on Z uh, not Xander Hall, uh, Shadow Raven's side by default, because it just I don't know how to explain it, but it's like with New Vegas modders, they are so invested into drama and room. It's like a high school, you know. Uh, they're so thoroughly invested in this sort of crap that. Uh, <laughs> They're willing to just buy whatever narrative Shadow Raven came up with, rather than actually, you know, learn about the mod itself. Does that make any sense? Yeah. It is so bizarre. And it's like, I've even had other developers, you know, like, the whole thing with the stolen submarine that, like, Sneedclave Anonymous and Shadow Raven have been showing off, I know for a fact who made that submarine. He used to be part of the team before all this shit happened, and, uh, but, like, 
to this day, there are still debates within the dev team, from what I hear, uh, about whether or not the submarine is stolen from Turbo Squid or not. Jesus. And it's, I mean, the thing is, thing. is that uh, what I find really weird, if I remember correctly from the screenshot, I'll have to go back into my first video and see, but if I remember correctly from, like, the first screenshot, that Turbo Squid thing, it was labeled as, like, a free asset anyway, so who the hell would care? No, and it's like, if you look up the username in the bottom corner of that screenshot, I, I forget how you spell it, but, like, if you look up the bottom corner of the screenshot you can see like the original username there if you look up that username and go to their account there is a submarine there but it's very clearly not the submarine model Ashfall is using so clearly the screenshot's fake but even if you show people that they'll come up with like excuse like oh maybe they changed the pictures or something like that like no dude well, what, it, what purpose like, would they have in doing that then i don't know i don't like, even think the person who has the, who made the model even gives a shit about any of this it's ridiculous. You know the phrase like the simplest solution is you like what what's that? Occam's what, razor. Not is it Occam's razor? The Something simplest like solution is usual uh, the simplest solution is usually the correct one. Yeah, that's Occam's razor. Okay, yeah. Um point is like th thank you for uh get bring up that quote, but it's like you would think that people would remember Occam's razor and go, "Oh, this Shadow Raven guy clearly has his own agenda." Maybe he has some reason to lie about the the Ashfall mod. I don't know, but like, no, that it's until prior to Xander Hall making his video, especially people were really on the uh, big on the idea that Shadow Raven Studios was like speaking truth to power, you know, a real rebel, you know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, point is, right. Uh, while I have the chance, thank you, and if, if Xander Hall is watching, or someone who watches him, thank you to Xander Hall too for effectively making my life a lot easier by, you know, because like prior to all this, I mentioned this to Domino too, but like I was trying to like make my own video talking about like, hey, this whole controversy is dumb, I'm, at the time I'm like the project lead, so I, you know, would have been able to like speak with some authority of like, hey, look, this whole controversy is dumb, clearly this guy's talking out of his ass, he hasn't shown any evidence, but, like, any of the other people who would have been able to back me up decided not to because, what was it that, uh, I don't want to accidentally say his name on here, but, like, one of the Asheville Doves was mentioned, like, oh, well, you know, they weren't sure whether or not, like, it would lead to more publicity for the mod if you called out Shadow Raven or not, or some bullshit like that, you know? Yeah. And, I don't know, it... It, I don't know how to describe it, but like the feeling that like the people you've worked with and in some cases became friends with for the last two years throw you under the bus because of pronouns that may or may not even exist in the mod because apparently pronouns mean something other than like words on a screen to these people. It's... It's disappointing. It's, it's silly, it's all I gotta say. Yeah. And the fact that uh, over a year later, for me at least, people are still fighting this like imaginary war against wokeness. It's, it's it feels like an existential threat in a weird way. Like, I feel like instead of Lovecraftian horror, we need a phrase for like Lovecraftian stupidity. <laughs> because exactly. It is. It's. I don't even know how to explain it, man. Like. If this was a fictional character, the right I would accuse the writer of being a hack who wanted a, a conservative straw man to beat at over and over again because their like dad was like a Republican and they haven't gotten over that or something. I like know that. it's so like, silly that it feels like a parody, and I can completely understand where Xander Hall is coming from when he says like you know this feels like an overly elaborate troll, but like all of the evidence points to this guy just actually being this deranged it's like it, it i almost empathize with like i know this is going to be like the dumbest comparison i could possibly make given the circumstances but like you know in fallout 4 they make a big deal about like synths and how they're like the like i feel like shadow raven studios is like an ai trained on like the most hateful vile venomous crap on the internet and he's like let loose on the internet going into these weird like culture war fights with people because like like it still amazes me that you could do you could work on a mod with your own free time not expecting any pay not expecting any kind of like real reward 
right? Not even expecting a whole lot of people to download your mod, you know? You're working in a niche for a niche within a niche in the Fallout community, you know? And of course you still get like a year, over a year at this point of like constant backlash because it's political. But no one's going to tell you what exactly it's political about it. You're just supposed to notice it yourself. I don't know. It's, maybe this is just me playing games like Disco Elysium a lot, where politics is sort and like faction stuff is like at the forefront of these kind of games, you know, like Fallout. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I just don't see a reason to care so much about it, you know? I mean, me neither. And I play like a wide variety of games that have like different messages and whatnot at the end of the day. And I just personally don't really care. The kinds of people who whine about wokeness in video games like it, it just comes across to me as just like people whining about absolutely nothing it's like childish and honestly it's like i don't know it, like here's here's the thing because i know at least somebody is going to listen to this and call me a hypocrite or whatever for whatever reason right but like if you don't like whatever politics not politics even it's we're not even talking about real politics but like if you genuinely believe that, like, Ashfall, or Nuevo Mexico, or, like, Fallout London are all woke or whatever, like, we're not charging you money to play these mods. We're not asking... We're not even asking for your time. We're just doing this for the sake of doing it. It's... passion. And I don't think... and... Like, I get that a lot of people, you know, they have their own different opinions, but, like, at that point, if something just doesn't if you don't agree with something's politics, just don't play it. Does that make any sense? Yeah, don't exactly. invest so much time and energy into giving, like, so much of your life to hating on something that you're not even going to play. Does that make any sense? Like, yeah. Ash Mod, when Shadow Raven talked about it, didn't have a trailer. We didn't really have any public presence beyond our Discord server and the Twitter, right? But, like, of course, Shadow Raven. I'm gonna say this right now because I forgot to say it in another, a couple of times actually, but I'm pretty sure the whole reason this started is because when, like the day after I removed All Out Monty, one of our writers, I say that with big quotation marks, writers, for uh, reasons you'll probably know, um, let's see here, I kicked him out and like the very, the morning after I remove him from Ashfall, that Shadow Raven video came out. Uh, and I'm pretty sure those two events are, events are connected because, like, I... You'll have to find the Shadow Raven video again, but I'm pretty sure throughout his... I think I his still group, have it on my computer. Let it, me check. And, you know, it's like, I'm not sure I'm gonna finally hear the end of it, but I am hearing less of, uh, you know, somebody going to my DMs telling me to kill myself, and more just people, uh... Like, I even had one person, I won't name her, but, like, I had one person go to me and say, hey, we want to make... Uh, me and my friends want to make our own, like, version of Fallout Hawaii. We were wondering if uh, you'd be interested in working on that. It's like, it's interesting. It's a very interesting situation because, like, in an effort to, like, keep politics out of modding, as Shadow Raven and a few others have said, it's almost made the New Vegas modding community feel more politically charged, you know? Yeah. Because, like, nobody gave a crap about, like, pronouns or gender before Shadow Raven made his video. But then after that, it was all anybody could talk about, and it was infuriating. And like, I, I get really, that I can really only imagine, man. I, I get what the argument's gonna be ma made here. It's like, oh well, we have our freedom of speech, don't we? It's like I get that, but like, you would think that if your whole deal is that you don't like talking about politics and you don't want these pronouns shoved in your face, you would therefore not shove your complaints about pronouns into other people's faces. But yeah, I, I think that's about everything I have to say. It's just, like, this whole situation is frustrating, and, uh, you know. Oh, um, I, I guess before I forget to mention this, uh, I've, I've looked over the, uh, one chat you have for, like, talking about these, uh, the, the, your rogues gallery of idiots, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, long story short, uh, that... <laughs> That Sneedclave Anonymous guy has been on our backs for being members of the Sneedclave for, like, years now. Damn. And if my- if the winds are a-changin', as people will say for, uh, these kind of guys, I- I just hope that eventually, you know, people will slowly realize that, hey, maybe- maybe the dude was right about 
need Clave Anonymous having been talking out of his ass for the, these years. Maybe we shouldn't have sat there and went, well, the news used anonymous sources all the time. Maybe we should listen to this guy because he's also anonymous. You know, that's sort of bullcrap. Yeah. Yeah, th there is a clear, there's a silver lining to all this. Like, I am genuinely appreciative of how, like, lately at least, people have started to kind of realize that, hey, maybe we should have done more to question Shadow Raven, Sneak Clave Anonymous, etc., etc. Um, I mean, maybe at least been... there's, at least there's progress yeah. being made. Yeah. That's you really know, all that matters at this point. Nature is rebounding itself. Hootuses are now frolicking across the two forts or whatever, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. But of course, yeah, that's basically the entire conversation, uh, to put it very simply, in his overall thoughts on the entire situation. Overall, he once again doesn't really care. He finds this entire situation to just be really tiresome, which I honestly can't really blame him for. Even having to deal with these goobers on like a, you know, a somewhat semi-weekly basis, it's already exhausting enough to begin with. But the fact that this shit is even still happening somewhat is genuinely tiresome. But at least there's one good thing that comes from this entire situation, and that is, of course, somehow, I guess we're managing to get through the, to the Fallout New Vegas modding community and actually realizing that, well, Shadow Raven Studios and his entire little confederacy, well, is just full of complete fucking nonsense uh, since the fucking beginning. I'm surprised that it quite literally took two channels with different levels of reach to actually cause that to happen, but I'm glad that it happened nonetheless. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. That's very well appreciated. Leave a comment down below what you thought about the video, what you want me to talk about next. And also subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more content such as this. Also, go ahead and follow me on Twitter or join the Discord server. And I also have channel memberships if you feel like throwing me a fiver. I'll probably try to do something with the channel memberships at some point. I promise I'll have something set up. But yeah, anyways, guys, this has been Sandy. And have yourselves a nice day.